Hi, welcome to another video. So, today we're diving into something I think is genuinely useful if you're working with AI in any kind of team, or even just solo, CoSpace GPT. If you remember, there's been a bunch of platforms lately that let you chat with multiple AI models. But CoSpace GPT here has got a bunch of features that actually make it stand out, especially if you care about security and collaboration. But the best part is that you get all the top Gen AI models in one secure workspace, and it's built for teams, which is kind of cool. Now, let me show you how you can use it, and as we proceed, I'll also tell you what makes it quite a bit different from the usual multi-model chat platforms. First off, the headline feature here is access to multiple AI models, text, image, and even web search. So, you're not stuck with just GPT, 4.1, or Claude, or Grok. You can actually switch between Grok 4, GPT 4.1, or Claude, DAL-E for images, and Perplexity for web search, all in the same chat. For example, if you want to generate a product description, you can use GPT 4.1, and then if you need an image for your listing, just switch over to DAL-E right there. No need to open another tab or pay for a separate subscription. If you're researching something like the latest trends in AI, you can use Perplexity to pull in web results and then ask Grok4 or Claude to analyze them. You get all the major AI models and the switching is seamless and you're not juggling a million browser windows, which is quite awesome. One thing I really liked is the auto mode. Basically, what it does is, CoSpace GPT automatically picks the best model for your prompt. So, if you type in, show me an image of a futuristic workspace, it'll know to use DALL-E. If you ask, summarize the latest AI news, it'll use perplexity for web search, and then maybe Claude or GPT 4.1 for the summary. It's super handy if you're not sure which model is best for the task, or if you just want to save time. I mean, I liked it, because it takes away that decision fatigue. Just type what you want, and it figures it out for you. That's something I've really wanted in these multi-model platforms. Moving on, let's talk about projects. You get two types, individual projects for your private work, and shared projects for team collaboration. So, if you're just brainstorming ideas for a blog post, or coding a little side project, you can keep it in your individual project and it's totally private. But if you're working with a team, say your marketing team is developing a campaign, you can create a shared project. Everyone can build on each other's conversations, view the chat history, and even upload files like docs, images, or spreadsheets. For example, your team could upload a brand guideline document, and then every AI prompt in that project will be context-aware, referencing that knowledge base. That's really good for keeping everyone on the same page and avoiding those annoying, why did the AI give me a different answer? Moments. It is very similar to many context engineering tools in how it organizes context, but here it's all in one workspace and you don't have to worry about info leaking out, which is pretty good. Now, on to security, which is a big focus for CoSpace GPT. First up, pseudonymization. What happens here is your real identifiers, like your actual name or email, get replaced with artificial ones. So, you can still work and collaborate, but your personal info is protected. For example, if you're working on a confidential HR project, your name might show up as user123 in the logs, but your workflow isn't affected. Then, there's the automatic block for confidential data. If you accidentally try to share something sensitive, the platform will just block it. I tested this by trying to upload a spreadsheet with some dummy personal info, and it flagged it instantly, which is quite awesome. There's also a dedicated security dashboard 
where you can see and manage your security status. So, you can check what data has been flagged, review your privacy settings, and make sure everything's locked down. That's something most other platforms really don't do well. It's usually just a generic, we care about your privacy statement. But here, you actually get tools to manage it yourself. Let's get into AI assistance now. This is another area where CoSpace GPT goes beyond just letting you chat with models. You can create custom AI assistants to help with daily routine tasks. For example, you could build an assistant that automatically summarizes meeting notes and emails them to your team, or one that helps onboard new team members by answering their questions using your uploaded company, Wiki. I made a simple assistant to generate weekly status reports based on our project chat history, and it worked really well. The cool thing is, you don't have to be a developer to set these up. It's all point and click, and you can customize the instructions and context for each assistant. It's very similar to the custom GPTs you get in OpenAI, but here it's built for teams and projects, so you get that extra layer of collaboration. But now comes the best part, and that is the pricing. You get access to all these models and features for just $20 per user per month. So, instead of paying separately for GPT-4, Claude, Perplexity, and DALL-E, you just pay once and you get all of them, plus the collaboration and security features. That's a huge deal if you're running a team or a small business and want to keep costs predictable. Also, the models here are updated regularly, and as soon as new models are launched, they try to add it here. So, you'll always have the best and up-to-date models. Go ahead and use it, and give this a try for sure. You can save a ton of money with this while getting full access to all kinds of models that you'd need for regular usage. You can save more than $150 with this simple subscription while getting even better features like projects and custom assistant and security and different models. So, yeah, this is a great deal, and you should surely use it as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.